today I am making some beef with bell peppers, a little garlic. I'm keeping it pretty simple. Those are all the ingredients that I had. And so I'm just going to show you. I went ahead and started. So I've already been cooking my grass-fed beef and then I cut up some red bell peppers and green bell peppers as well as some garlic and went ahead and tossed it into the pan. The way I did it was I first did the beef and I waited until it was almost cooked all the way through before I added the bell peppers. I also added the garlic while the beef was cooking just as an extra flavor. I used just a little bit of a, kind of a bone broth water to, um, to cook the beef at the beginning. And I am going to include some organic cayenne red pepper seasoning as well as some Himalayan sea salt. Um, but I'm gonna wait and do that in just a minute. Not when it's all the way cooked, but just before it's all the way cooked, just to season it. And then I will add some of my Kerrygold butter as well once it's completely done, but it's still warm and the butter will just melt right on top. So that's what I'm cooking today. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in the pan. Yeah, we'll use this hand. All right. So that's what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, the bell peppers. Oh, and I did do a little bit of broccoli stock. Um, we all we only had the stock left over. So I love to cook the broccoli stock. I never throw it away. A lot of people do. But once you cook it down till it's really soft, it's actually eatable. It's not so hard. Um, and there's a lot of benefits within the broccoli stock as well. All right, so right now I'm going to add some organic olive oil into my beef mixture, peppers and veggies. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my organic cayenne red pepper. And then a dash of this Himalayan sea salt. And then go ahead and just mix it up a little bit. And I like, some people like their beef to have a little bit of pink in it or just to be, um, yeah, have a little bit of pink in it. I do not like any pink. I actually almost probably overcook my beef. I like it to be a little crispy, not burnt, but close to it just I like the crispiness of it and I like to know that it's just cooked all the way through doesn't have to be that way that's just how I do it so I just added in my grass-fed butter and that's what it looks like um, so too when you're using a big wok like this make sure that you always keep the heat really low or low to medium um, but that's what it looks like it's very simple nothing special but this is a great way to get some good protein and some high fats in you um, and just throw in some other veggies that you like. This was just all that I happened to have, but I recommend throwing in a ton of different vegetables and spices and just really have fun and make it your own.